Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, September 18th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. My cat has gone out, but I have these beautiful flowers. The roses are opening. It's so gorgeous. And my St. Francis. Blessing birds while he holds the scriptures, interacting with nature and the word of God two parts of a whole. God speaks through nature and God speaks through scripture. We continue in the second book of Kings with one of the most beautiful stories in the Bible. It's the story of a prophet and his apprentice, and it's a story of goodbye. It's a story of death. Uh, it's a story of two people that love each other, and one of them has to go on to the Lord. Uh, Elijah the prophet has an apprentice, Elisha, and Elijah knows that his time is coming, and he keeps saying to Elisha, you stay here, and I'm going to go over there um, because I have something to do, and Elisha knows what's going on. Elisha knows that his master is going to be taken home to God. And he says, I'm not gonna leave you, I'm coming with you. And this happens over and over. Elijah says, I need to go, I need to go to Jericho, I need to go here. And Elisha says, I'm not gonna leave you, I'm staying with you. Finally, Elijah says, what will it take for you to let me go? And Elisha the apprentice says, I want a double share of your spirit. The prophet Elijah says, that's a tough, tough one, but okay. If you're able to watch me go to God, then you'll be granted your request. And sure enough, a chariot of fire comes down and Elijah is literally lifted up into heaven. This is a precursor of the ascension of Jesus, that Jesus after the resurrected form would also be lifted up into heaven that some very high souls, including in fact, the incarnation of God, are so pure that they their whole bodies just get lifted up. It's a beautiful concept. And Elisha, though, is, sees this magnificent transformation, sees his master taken up into heaven, and yet he still is distraught. He tears his garments and he cries. But then he takes Elijah's mantle and he uses it to part the waters of the Jordan, just like Elijah did, and you know that he is the new prophet, that he has within him the one that he loved. It's so hard to say goodbye. It's so hard to let someone die. And over and over again, I see people who cling to their loved ones and are too attached and cause them pain in the dying process. Uh, you can actually prolong dying by not letting your loved one go, by saying to them, please don't leave me. And it's not love, it's attachment, but they're very different. Uh, in a way, but very similar in a way, and hard to sometimes tell apart, especially when it's you that's feeling the attachment. Just a few days ago, I buried a beautiful woman who had early onset dementia, and her wife was able to let her go, and it was a very beautiful passing. Um, I was not there at the end, but had done last rites, um, but they just sat with her and loved her and told her it was okay, and it took her a long time to go but she did it in her own time. Elisha didn't want to let Elijah go, but when he did, he was given the spirit of his master twice, twofold. When you let someone you love die, their spirit is within you. They bless you, they stay with you. It's a mystery, but I truly believe their influence increases. So let us learn that painful lesson, the difference between love and attachment. And when it's time to let our loved ones go, give us the courage and strength to love them enough to do that. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this beautiful day in this troubled world where so many are still dying from COVID many of whom could have prevented their illness by being vaccinated. We ask you to give us strength and courage in this time. 
tenacity and forbearance as we continue to battle this virus. Help us to convince those to trust in medicine for it is a gift from you. We ask you, Lord, to bless this whole world. Give us an awareness of your presence, an ability to appreciate one another, to respect our differences and to learn to live together, respecting and honoring this planet. Guide us today in all that we do. Bless the sick, the dying, the hungry, those who are working too hard. Give us purpose and help us to follow your will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you, have a great day.